a day ahead of schedule, Prime Minister Scott Morrison joined a small group of Australians first in line to be vaccinated against COVID-19 before a large-scale rollout on Monday. What we're demonstrating today is our confidence. I am supremely confident in the, the expert process that has been led to get us to this day. It's been a long time coming for Australians who've been watching the Pfizer vaccine roll out in other countries. But with Australia in the envious position of having few COVID-19 cases, the government says it's been focused on safety. The first phase of the program will involve vaccinating health workers and staff who work in quarantine facilities. The first goal is protection. The second goal is to have as high as possible a rate and we will learn more as a world about the impact in terms of uh, preventing transmission, although the evidence is increasingly strong. The evidence may be strong, but government research has found more than a quarter of Australians are unsure about getting inoculated. A day ago, a few thousand people protested against the vaccine in different cities at a time when the government is in a public fight with Facebook, which banned news content from its Australian sites, reducing the government's reach to share information about the importance of getting vaccinated. Taking the vaccine isn't mandatory, but the government is hoping to vaccinate the majority of Australians by the end of October. The rollout is a huge logistical operation, especially in remote, isolated communities, when the Pfizer vaccine needs to be stored at minus 80 degrees Celsius. The AstraZeneca vaccine has also been approved by the Therapeutic Goods Administration and is set to be rolled out from next month. But experts are warning international borders could still remain closed for some time. International borders and public health responses around international borders are continue, going to continue until we know a lot more about how this vaccine is working and a vast majority of the population is vaccinated. At least 60,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine are expected to be administered in the coming week, with 4 million to receive the jab by March. Nicola Gage, Al Jazeera, Canberra.